Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to work on this G Patriot. Uh, it's uh, 2014. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the rear wheel bearing, the brake pads on this car. So why I'm changing it, it's uh, making a loud noise, especially on the passenger side. But I will change both sides because the other one too is making some noise as well. Let's get started. First thing first, uh, we'll start by jacking up the car. Next, I'll put my jack stand underneath. Here, one on this side and one on the other side. So to check wheel bearing, so there's two ways, or three ways actually. So this one has an ABS sensor. So if the ABS light is on, so that one sign that the wheel bearing is gone. We can put your hands like 9, 3, 9 and 3 o'clock and we move. There's no movement. Sometimes even if the wearing is bad, you will not feel that uh, movement. So the next thing is you can rotate the wheel and here like if there's any noise, grinding noise like that. can hear how it's like like the noise is loud so next thing is I will take off the tires so I'll use a 19 millimeter socket to remove the lug nuts and as a safety I will just put it underneath the car the next thing is I will remove the cutter pin and this uh, washer. I will apply some uh, penetrating oil. See how rusty it is? So I'll apply some penetrating oil here. And I will use my wire brush to clean up this thread. And using a 32 millimeter socket, I will loosen the CV axle bolt. Brake cleaner to just remove the dust. Next, I will remove the brake caliper and we have the ABS sensor at the back. So using a 14 millimeter wrench or you can use a socket, there's two bolts at the back. Uh, it's right here. There's one right here and one on the bottom right here. Before removing the caliper, screwdriver, flat screwdriver, just uh, put it on this side and compress just to loosen the, the brake and it will be easier to remove it. We can take out the caliper just like that and place it right here next we are going to remove the abs sensor switch so here's the switch uh clips i'm using a screwdriver and pry it off next uh, we have four bolts that holding the hub and the wheel bearing we have so one two three four i'll put some penetrating oil in it and it will be easier for me to remove so using a 17 millimeter socket and a ratchet, I will loosen these bolts. So now that I have uh, loosened all the four bolts at the back, now it's time to remove that uh, disc. Now it's, we need to remove the disc. So loosen this one. A couple of taps and uh, this is out. Now I'm going to remove all the four bolts and uh, give it a small tap so that this can come out. 
before removing the last bolt uh, I'll leave it a little bit and with a socket in it I'll give it a little tap with my hammer so I use my socket and an extension it was on the board then I hammer it then we can take it out next thing I uh, have to remove the hub from this uh, plate so as you can see it's right here the wool bearing and it's very rusted so I'll spray some uh, fair trading oil here to remove the hub and the bearing from the plate you just need to tap it on this wheel bearing and just like that the wheel bearing is out now let's compare the old one and the new one Next, I'll just uh, give this a good clean uh, before putting everything back. So I'll use my wire wheel and start the clean. To put back the wheel bearing, we'll just go uh, in the reverse order as you can see this is where the ABS sensor switch goes so this should go to the front should be like this let's put it back first I'll just apply some anti -seas. So this should go to the front, the front in this direction, but it goes like this. Then we'll put back the ABS sensor. Next, we'll put back this washer and nut. So, right now, I'm going to put back the brakes, the disc, and the brakes. Put the wheel back on. Then, we'll talk this nut to 181 foot pound and then we'll put back the uh, spring washer and the net cap so i will change this in another video i'll show you how to change the disc and the brake pads and also we'll change the brake fluid on another video i'll show you for this time i don't have the brake pads right now so i'll put back the old one and uh, we'll try it and see if the noise went away So this is how we change the wheel bearing on a Jeep Patriot. So I repeated the same process on the other side and now I'm going to for a test drive. <laughs> 